विराट कोहली क्रिस गेल एबी डिविलियर्स यूजोवेंद्र चाहल के एल राहुल एंड मेनी मोस्ट आर प्लेयर्स हैव प्लेड फॉर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वैल्यूबल आई पी एल टीम दैट इज एक्चुअली नेम्ड आफ्टर अ पॉपुलर विस्की ब्रांड इन इंडिया रॉयल चैलेंज विस्की Yes friends Vijay Mallya the flamboyant businessman and liquor baron of India was the man behind the purchase of the Bangalore franchise back in the initial bid of the IPL teams in the year 2008 My name is Divyang Jain I'm a professional cricketer turned sports entrepreneur therefore business and cricket are two things I'm most passionate about and in this video we are going to discuss the ownership status of one of the most valuable IPL teams the Royal Challengers Bangalore Vijay Mallya once known as the king of good times was always spotted cheering his team RCB during the inaugural few years of the IPL since 2008 he cherished being the owner of the IPL team he was also one of the most successful businessmen of india in the 20th century after the takeover of his father's company united breweries in the year 1983 he managed to make a very successful business group over the next 3 decades by the early 2000s united spirits a flagship company under the united breweries group became the second largest spirits company in the world by volume under the chairmanship of Vijay Mallya a lot of popular brands came under the united spirits umbrella back piper mcdowell's number no. 1 royal challenge signature black dog whisky white mischief and of course the kingfisher beer with more than 50% share in the indian beer market it was an emotional time for all bangaloreans when a fellow bangalorean vijay mallya bid the second highest amount to acquire the bangalore franchise when bcci first announced the ipl back in the year 2008 he picked up the franchise for a sum of 111.6 million dollars or about 446 crore rupees back in the year 2008 for a period of 10 years little did malia know that this decision would soon become a game changer in his portfolio just before the start of the first ever ipl season in the year 2008 india had won the under 19 world cup held in malaysia one of the star performers of india for this world cup was none other than the captain of the team the young virat kohli malia was quick to spot the potential in virat and promptly inducted him into the team thus began the journey of rcb and virat's rise to stardom vijay malia was always a cricket enthusiast and he was one of the first business personalities of our country to invest in the ipl by picking up a franchise in the league he was often seen sitting at the stands and cheering his team the players in the rcb team felt very comfortable under his ownership as he was always encouraging and never shied away from giving his inputs the next decade saw the rise of rcb with kohli leading from front and malia playing a very important role in it he can be credited for bringing in for in cheer leaders into the stadiums or even the IPL after parties which was a common thing back then he also invited several celebrities to IPL matches held in Bangalore making it one of the most glamorous events of our country vijay malya the king of good times truly lived up to his name yet like all fairy tales have a beautiful ending this good phase 2 was his ending back in the year 2005 vijay malya had launched a highly ambitious project kingfisher airlines This was a unique concept of airline services in India with added value and luxury like never before. For a few years though, Malia was the toast of the town with his lavish lifestyle and opulent parties. Despite acknowledging the fact that running an airline in a country like India is an extremely hard business, Malia continued with his ambitious project. But unfortunately, all this had to come to an end. By the year 2013, reality hit hard and Kingfisher Airlines had to file for bankruptcy. leaving malia in a terrible financial situation the situation worsened when it was discovered that malia had outstanding loans of upwards of 1.35 billion dollars or almost 9000 crore rupees he was therefore also accused of money laundering and a lot of other financial wrongdoing things came to a head when he fled to london in march 2016 and sought political asylum in the uk Amongst all this financial crisis his most valuable asset was the United Spirits company which also owned the RCB IPL team the crisis hit malia hard and he was forced to sell off his majority stake in the United Spirits company in multiple sell out rounds to the global mnc alcoholic company diageo which was headquartered in london by the year 2014 diageo share in united spirits limited was almost 55% therefore malia lost the majority control of his company Due to Malia's flight from India and subsequent legal proceedings, 
Diageo took the final control of USL. Since the takeover, RCB, one of the most profitable assets of USL, now lies in the corporate hands of Diageo. While this has been a difficult situation for Malia, it has also been very beneficial to Diageo as they have now been able to take control of one of the most profitable sports teams in the world. Diageo has since appointed a team of professional management and employed key admins at various positions to run the show. With this new setup, USL has been able to keep its financials afloat and RCB is still one of the most profitable and successful teams in the IPL. It is no surprise that Virat Kohli continues to be a loyal servant to the Royal Challengers Bangalore and the fans love to watch him in action in red every season. His commitment and dedication to the team have been an exemplary and is no wonder that he is one of the most popular players in the IPL. Perhaps he has a share in the ownership pie of the team as well. Who knows? That's it for today folks. I hope you got to learn something from this video. If you enjoy such a topic, then do check out the other videos in the same playlist. Don't forget to give this video a like and do subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.